We don't know what he hurts. Most of the time when you need to check the time and you want to use your cell phone to do it or if you ask somebody what time is it and they'll need to check their phone, they'll hit the power button. So that's obviously the most common way and then they'll see the time on their phone. Obviously you can do that also with the Moto X, but it also has a separate feature where if you want to check the time or even see if you've got a missed text message or a missed phone call, you can just wave your hand over the screen and it will actually show the time and if you have some other missed messages, there'll be icons displayed underneath the time. Here's an example of the Motorola Skip working. So there's one of the Skip devices. So to unlock the phone, there you go, it's unlocked. So the Skip actually not only comes with this clip, it comes with three stickers, one, two, three. Those stickers will also unlock the phone. So you could take one of the stickers, put it on your desk if you work at an office, or you can put it at your uh, home, uh, like if you have a study, or if you're a student, you could put it on your backpack or you could put it on your notebook. Basically, you take your phone and you touch it on the sticker and it unlocks, just like when you touch it onto the clip and that makes it unlock as well. Here's a quick example of the quick capture feature where you shake your cell phone and it automatically goes into camera mode without you having to actually unlock it. There you go. You can see it's in camera mode. And then when you're done, you'll have to unlock it to actually get into the phone. Thumbs. Touch and hold the screen. Touch wallpapers. You have three choices. Touch live wallpapers. Here's a list of all of the live wallpapers on this phone. Touch the one that you like and touch set wallpaper. And here the normal static image or picture has changed to a moving wallpaper or a wallpaper that's alive. Thumbs. Voice actions from Google means you can now simply talk into your phone to perform loads of tasks by pressing the mic button on the Google search box. So you can send a text message by saying, send text to Robert Smith. Let's meet at 8 p.m. by the train station. Then just press send. You've created a text message without any typing. You can find and automatically call any business just by saying its name. If you fancy pizza in central London, say call Soho Pizzeria. If you're out and about, you can quickly look up information about your local area. Weather in Bristol. And voice actions can get you around town too. Navigate to Piccadilly Gardens, Manchester. With Google Maps navigation, you've turn by turn directions on your phone. It can also help you when you've got your hands full. Send text to mum. Hi mum, can you babysit for us next Saturday? There are lots of fantastic voice actions. Go to thetimes.co.uk. Map of art galleries in Amsterdam. And of course, you can do a Google search. Pictures of Stonehenge at sunrise. Touch the microphone icon. Map of restaurants. And touch go. Go to Wikipedia. Touch go. Thumbs. Let's say you want to send a text message. Here's the text message screen on this Android phone. And let's type how are you. So most people will be familiar with this. You can use this kind of keyboard or when you rotate it, you'll be able to see your landscape keyboard and you can use both of your thumbs. So uh, if you have had an older phone, uh, you might have used T9. So that's one way of sending text messages. Thumbs. Another way is to use swipe. Here we are back at the text message screen. So we want to type, how are you again? But this time around, we will use swipe. And there you go. Typed in, how are you? Thumbs. Let's say that you want to use a different ringtone than the ones that come on your phone. And you want to use an MP3 that you have. 
What you can do is connect your Android phone to your computer. Then copy the MP3 or MP3s that you want to use as ringtones from your computer into the ringtones folder on your cell phone. Sex isn't wrong, but you gotta be right. If you're hitting the sheets, then wrap it up tight. <laughs> Listen up, kids, cause I ain't joking. One bad decision, your dick will be smoking. <laughs> You'll catch a VD, but don't take it from me. I'm going to blast through some of the additional features of the Moto X. First, this is the only smartphone assembled in the USA. Its wall adapter has two slots for devices, so you can connect two devices simultaneously and charge both of them at the same time. There is no replaceable battery, however. Without unlocking the Moto X, you can choose what shows up on its screen even when the screen is dark or asleep, like text messages or missed calls. This feature is especially important since you're so popular. There are also voice commands called touchless control. Now Android phones have had these features for years. It's similar to Apple Siri. These commands can be used while the phone is unlocked or even locked. Without unlocking your phone, you can actually turn on the camera by simply shaking the phone. The phone has two cameras, an HD camera on the front and a 10 megapixel HD camera on the back. Both cameras can record HD video 1920 by 1080 progressive 120 frames per second. You can take rapid shots in succession by touching and holding the screen. You can take panoramic pictures too. For the screen lock, you can unlock the phone by setting a pattern, a pin, password, using your face, or using a NFC device like the Motorola Skip. To unlock via face, take a picture of your beautiful, amazing face then when the phone sees it, it will unlock. You can also lock your SIM card and encrypt the data on the phone. The Moto X has tutorials to help you learn how to use it. It has Motorola Migrate, an application which transfers contacts, text messages, and other data from your old phone to the new phone. You can restrict apps from using data in the background in case you're concerned about hitting the data limit on your plan. You can mirror the phone screen on an HD TV without even using cords or wires. You can connect your Moto X to your computer and get caller ID on your computer screen. And you can also send and receive text messages from your computer without wires or cords. I am not making this shit up. You can also use swipe to type instead of typing one letter at a time. You can sync your Moto X with your work email, calendar, and contacts. There's also Quick Office to help you work on documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. You can have the phone automatically reply via text to a person that just called you while you're driving. If you receive a text message while driving, you can have the phone automatically read that text message aloud. Please don't be stupid and text and drive. You can have the phone read books out loud. And lastly, there's Motorola Spotlight Stories. These videos, I can't really describe them, but they're entertaining. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure, bitch. I got the head of CIA right here. He'll tell you. All right. Thanks for watching. Hello, Moto.